Hello everybody, am I here? It's a lovely November 5th. How are you all doing today? I'm saying the date because uh, I'm just gonna assume the fact that this video is not gonna be out till mid or late November because I'm a little bit backed up on editing. I have a huge headache and I really don't want to edit or anything right now. But because it's the start of a new month, it is now time to go into the reward point shop for those monthly cubes. Except this time around, it's a little bit different because I have nothing that I actually want to work on for my own stuff now. So, nowadays, I guess these cubes can be used for random projects, and I just have happen to have a couple lying around. I currently have two PAP marks in my uh, possession. The second one, well, I got the clip uh, about a week ago, I think. It was either last week or the week before that I got it off of uh, Chaos Pap. So I'm really happy because, like I said before, I swear to God it's been a year since I've gotten a single Pap mark and now finally two of them show up. It would be already a decent amount of messels if I were to uh, just sell them clean and stuff. But you can see that this is a unique um, Pap mark because... I'm gonna make these into uh, cubing and flaming projects. So uh, for those that aren't super endgame, pat marks are actually used to transpose the Sweetwater monocles. That's pretty much the only reason why this accessory out of all the boss drops is most likely the most valuable. I'm And I'm just talking out of like mid... Uh, mid-game bosses. We're not talking uh, hard boss accessories. My goal with these pat marks is hopefully to get them to legendary tier and then get a really good flame on them so then I could sell it and hopefully someone will want to uh, do something about it. Did I forget to take my cubes out? I forgot to. Now that I'm done with my main pots on all my main gear, the next step uh, would probably to polish up a couple of my personal drop gears, the ones that I actually can't... Uh, get from uh, auction house and stuff so this greed pendant but uh, before I get to that I want to try to sell the pat marks since I have them as I have mentioned before and I'm sorry for uh, making this a little bit stretched out uh, but I do want to get this clear um, my shoes and my shoulders are technically done but they're also unsatisfactory to me just because it's clear that they're violated and the least I want is a natural looking potential so that's why uh, I am going to be black cubing these guys and hopefully getting a better three line strength or just a better looking one uh, black cubes technically are better to tear up I know that but uh, it's about the principle, and the principle has fucked me. Red cubes, however, I really don't have a use for them out of all the legendary items I have that's sort of like expendable to use for them. I already have a three line luck here. I'm pretty satisfied with this two line attack unique. Maybe I'll tier it to legendary next double miracle time to get a little bit more percent attack. I'm not sure. So essentially any cubes that I get from the reward point shop or from events and stuff will be put into these pat marks and if I get all of those stuff done and I have extras and stuff I'll just give them away to uh, friends or whatever because why not. So uh, the important thing about pat marks is that it doesn't matter about the lines it only matters about the tier. So I'm only looking for it to tear up. And it didn't happen there, so that's unfortunate. Now that all the shenanigans with the violets and the... What else was there? I, I, I forgot. I have my headache really hurts, I'm sorry. It's time to start prepping for double miracle time then, I suppose. Let's start by taking a look at the meso market. So it seems that the meso rate has gone up a little bit, which is nice. Not as high as before in the summer, which, um, yeah, I, I'm I'm still trying to sort out my feelings about the meso price fluctuating so much. Currently looking like it's hovering anywhere between uh, 14 to 1 and 16 to 1, and looking at the Scania discords, it's like on the low end, so 14 to 1. Uh, but it is slowly rising, I think, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I don't think I will sell my Messels just yet, because I do know when Awake comes, Messel rate might 
possibly go up, so I'm gonna bank on that fact and uh, probably just do a whole bunch of uh, Meso selling in the Meso market den. I guess that means this episode is gonna be a little bit of a filler type of episode because haste is happening right now and I know Awake's gonna be uh, coming on the 18th and I also have a thing with Bean Brigade where I'm doing a special stream uh, on an early release of the, the patch to show off the new uh, fifth job skills and everything. So it would be nice to do a couple of uh, small miscellaneous things on the side in between now and the wake. Uh, since I have the time for it now. I finally finished doing all the Yakechi boss fights for uh, the prizes and everything. So this is my claim for all that stuff. Thank you very much. 30 ICOGs though, I have no use for them. Let's see if there's anyone that needs ICOGs. Uh, and then 7 experience node stones, I like that very much. Simply just because uh, new 5th drop skill coming out soon. And I also need to level up my Will Averta and eventually blink for the Black Mage boss fight. Victor has been telling me that, oh, I really need it. And uh, I have a problem with nodes and stuff. Uh, my perfectionistic OCD or whatever you want to call it is like, well, if I'm going to get Blink, I'm not going to have it at level 1. I'm going to have it at level 25. So that's going to take a little bit. And I really don't want to use uh, my nodes for that. This damage skin looks all right, though. Let's see how it looks like. Looks pretty cool. But it's very blue and messy, so I can't really see the numbers properly, so not too big of a fan of it. It just looks cool. That's it. That's about it. After discovering that the curring is absolutely broken and just doesn't work, I'm a little bit upset at all the effort I made into uh, getting all the scrolls to, and upgrading the uh ring to its final level and all that now i'm doing more runs of hyperspace pq because i want to level up my uh what's the raw ring called this guy oh the fatal raw ring it's not the best ring especially when you compare it to uh the rings that you can get from oz unfortunately my hero has received all of the possible upgrade items uh, the ascension modules they're called uh so i can't upgrade another ring um on this character anymore not fully at least but even then the achievements to get the remaining ascension modules in this PQ is really really difficult so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm actually going to have to do the pre-quest all over again on a second character and grab the ascension modules there because they are transferable with an account I believe and so I will get a new raw ring or just unlock the one I have and upgrade it to the max level and subsequently get all of the Scrolls for it once again. Uh-oh, ascension modules are not tradable. I may have just misremembered. So I guess that idea is scrapped, unfortunately. But uh, check out what I found out. I ended up getting all of the achievements for the damage skin. So why don't we go ahead and uh, check these out. I want to try out the Ling Ling damage skin first. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, looks very tiny. Very concise. A little bit busy though, like the other damage skin, whatever it was called, the Akechi one. But it's nice and condensed, so that's pretty awesome. Let's go and uh, save this before I forget. <laughs> Don't want to lose this. Uh, oh no! I always kept all the damage skins that I got for free, but now I have to choose between them? Well, it's kind of easy because there's a lot of stuff I don't want. Um, but the problem is, I can't seem to delete any one of them? There has to be a way of doing this, right? Maybe if I just... Oh! Oh, so you can just delete them like you're dropping a item. Okay, that's perfect. So we'll save that. Alright, let's check out the 2-2 damage skin now. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's so adorable! Oh! <laughs> All right, that's saved as well. And finally, the Nene uh, damage skin. Uh, 
this one? Uh, since it's also green, it's like very comparable to the tutu skin, and I think I like the tutu skin a lot more actually. Not the best in my opinion, but eh, yeah, I think some people will like it. Got him. Okay. Oh. Oh, this was yesterday. Yeah. Oh, that's sick. I have asked people to spread the word, and I'm giving away my 30 iCogs that I got from uh, Akechi. I seriously, like, have no use for these guys, so might as well give it to someone who needs it. Alright. Let's see what we can do with this. A one. Yeah, it's free. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, man. These are some, uh... Terrible rolls. There's a plus two now. Uh, okay. Another one. A fail. A zero. And a fail. Oof. <laughs> I'm not happy with that. Why is he saying thanks? Oh. Uh, I, I guess that's it. Alright, well, I still got 20 more to do, so... Oh, it's fly. I think we can have a go. Almost one totem later, and I am nearly 30,000 mobs uh, completed, which I am genuinely surprised because I thought 44,444 monsters was something that I would never achieve. And now, I guess from... All my experience, figuratively and literally, uh, with training over the post-250 levels. It's made me realize, you know what, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Especially when you're catching up on anime you've been wanting to watch but, uh, haven't had the time to because of everything else. I only watched season 1 of Shogugeki two years ago and now I'm already in the middle of season 3! Uh, Messel Gears is still being actively worked on. So far it's been like a one and a half person workforce. I mean, for the most part I get a good amount of help with the script writing part, but, you know, designing, editing, posting, publishing, all that stuff, uh, that's me. If I'm honest though, script writing is, uh, the most time-consuming part of the process because of, uh, the formality and structure of the guides. It kind of just goes back to whenever I look up tutorials on YouTube. I don't want to watch a 10-minute tutorial that could have been summarized in two minutes. I'm just trying to make Messel Gears as formal, as professional, but also as lax as possible. I mean, I, it's in the trailer. I want it to be as comprehensible as possible. And you're not going to be able to do that without lots of peer review and testing and trying out other stuff. You may have noticed, but I started playing Final Fantasy XIV and uh, one of the reasons why was because I wanted to get some experience playing a brand new MMORPG and see uh, what sort of questions I would have had and if the game would be able to teach me. And I try to analyze the tools and what the game and the community has to offer and uh, I I want Maple to have something that people can just be like oh just go to that channel you know and more importantly I guess I just want to cut the bullshit from like a lot of guides like from what I was saying about uh, watching tutorials where the opening's always, Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Sorry I sound a little bit sick. I don't need an irrelevant question for the video, like, uh, which anime is better. I just came here to find out about spell traces. Please just cut the shit and tell me. So that's kind of what Messel Gears, uh, stands for. At least, uh, my image of it. I don't think this is coming from like a heart of love to be honest. I think this is just coming from a heart of spite. It doesn't happen as much anymore but uh, back then in season 2 and season 3 every time I went on like the Maple Story subreddit all I see are like questions that you could have easily googled if you actually had the effort to do it. But on the other hand it's like I get it you know. 
sometimes you don't want to Google it because you might end up on a Basil market thread or just something that looks completely outdated and MapleStory has changed quite a lot over the years so that's why a uh, lot of content and guides and stuff that people have made have unfortunately been left on the side and that's a, a real, another thing I want to focus on with Meso here is how can I create something that can last through time and uh, all these updates. So I get really careful and picky with uh, what I say and what gets put in the guide because I don't want uh, something to be completely outdated by next year, especially with how much effort it takes to make a Meso Gear guide. I mean, heck, even the Meso Gears guide isn't invincible to that. Uh, after the server guide got published, not too long after, uh, KMS announced Zero for Reboot, but the way I'm trying to structure Meso Gears uh, guides is so that they are fundamentally still relevant no matter what and the small little details can be you know put on a footnote or something which I do by uh, putting a pinned comment at the uh, comment section of the video. Wait, I'm already done. Damn it, I got too distracted from ranting. Whoops. I do see sort of a frequent question where it's like, when's the next guide coming out and stuff like that, and I totally understand like that se sediment or just that uh, um, concern. I am definitely not satisfied with uh, the rate that I'm going with Meso Gears, but it's the best I can do at the moment because I am almost the only person working on it. I'm not gonna disregard the help I've gotten, so thank you very much to Carmen, Sam, Victor, uh, Rob, and uh, James for a lot of their help, and especially like to some volunteer uh, like Steve and Alex and Lee and just so many people I can't even name off the top of my head. Everyone like within each of those Metal Gears guide has contributed in some sort of way, no matter how big or small. I just think my ambitions for Meso Gears are... They're fine, but they're not possible with just one person. And I just need someone that can be as devoted to the channel as I am. I say that even though I've been neglecting it for the past uh, while, but that's because I've been working on my Celis remix and I've been working on... Uh, trying to pump out uh, Roll to Max Damage and all that. I kind of have to thank Quarantine though, because if it wasn't for that, then I would still also be kind of busy with work and uh, not have the time as well. And uh, it's, a, it's a lot. I, I'm, I'm going through a lot. CC12 Ardent MVP 60 seconds. Start the timer. Timer's up. All right. Thanks, Khalifa. Bye-bye. Oh. My. God. What the f- Khalifa? <laughs> Khalifa just put me in a hard boss party for Black Mage. Sorry, let me rephrase that. Khalifa just put me in a Black Mage party. All right, I guess it's time to get to work then. All right, it's time to do a bunch of research. Oh, sorry, that's not part of it. Load up all these videos. I just got invited to the boss discord. It's everyone's first time doing the black mage, so I don't feel too much pressure, but I do feel responsible for learning a lot of stuff really quickly and getting a lot of stuff done. The leveling is probably my main concern out of everything. Uh, I think I'm probably going to be the most underleveled character in the party. I want to work on Muscle Gears. That's the uh, that's the thing. I I'm gonna have to figure out some time management stuff. Hey, Sunny Sunday is giving three mysterious monster blooms. Let's accept them and let's see what I get. All right, first one: Dark Eye from Another Dimension. Wait, is that the Ludi PQ one? Oh my god, it is the Ludi PQ one. That's rare to get, I think. I'm sure someone would be like, Oh, well, actually, I got it on my first try doing Ludibri and PQ. Um, congrats. Anyways, um, Paper Bag Alley Citizen, is that the latch one? Yes, yes it is. Okay, and one more. And Star Force Master Death Teddy. Hey, that's three monsters. 
pretty good. I've been getting a good amount of Messel so far. I have yet to pay my Hardballs party yet because nobody likes to claim their money, or I guess none of them want to do math. Uh, but I know I have some, and I'm thinking maybe perhaps I want to purchase some backups. I'm not sure though, because earlier on I did say that like Awake is probably going to make uh, Meso a little bit more valuable, so buying stuff at this price seems to be like, uh, maybe a good idea, maybe not a good idea. All I know right now is that backups with droplets will cost me anywhere between like 1.5 to 2 bill each, and in perspective from when backups costed like 50, 60 bill when Messori was super inflated, I can't be any more happier to just keep buying droplets. But uh, one of these days, I'm going to have to start star forcing, and uh, that's what I'm more worried about. And then I'm also conflicted with uh, how much meso I want to sell over the Awake patch for uh, Maple Points, because I want to prepare for, um, what you call it, DMT. So I'm, I'm kind of spreading myself thin here, and I really got to commit to something. And the last time I committed to uh, Star Forcing, it didn't go super well. So maybe this time around, especially since DMT is going to be around Christmas, and that seems to be like a good time margin between now and DMT to prepare. I, uh, maybe this time around I will do uh, B-Pots then. It's time to get serious about the Black Mage, and... Thanks to Khalifa, I'm joining in some suicide runs. Some people may be a little bit confused. No, suicide run is not an official term for the game. It's just a way to describe essentially throwing yourself at a boss uh, until you just die out over and over again. The Black Mage party I joined, they said they don't have much experience or they haven't ran it before. So, like I said, since I'm like least contributing in terms of damage, possibly because of my level, I really need to uh, get a head start in this. So me and Khalifa are going to be suicide running Black Mage, and uh, I'm going to learn a s couple of things here or there. Hopefully. <laughs> Why, hello there. Hola! You're sleeping or what? Huh? No. Only po pooping, I think. Sure. Okay, before we start, what do you want to learn? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I, I really don't know, just because, like, I have not too uh, have much you gone expectations. Have you the videos, the guides, anything, or you're going in blindly? No, I've seen, like, plenty of videos and read the guides, but it's, like, it's one thing to read them and watch them, and then it's a completely different thing doing it yourself. First run ever. Don't embarrass yourself. All the way right. All yeah, the yeah, way yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Okay, summoning familiars. Got them, got them, got them. Coming. Come. Waiting for meatballs. Ah. Split. I already got fucking cursed. That was bad. Good Bind it again. Bound. Hirozu. And again. Uh. Un. Oh. Ouch. Chat from the sparks. Yeah. Oh. Stay on the side. Stay on the side. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, familiars, familiars, familiars. Oh, right, right, right. Every time you die, re summon it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that, that was hard. <laughs> <laughs> that was so difficult. What the hell? Chains and lightning uh -oh. and meatballs uh -oh. at the same time. Can make it to phase two, that will be enough. Yeah, I am gonna be up in 10 seconds. <sighs> Familiars. Oh my god. Try to stay behind, behind, behind the white one. Stay behind the white one. Okay. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Heroes will, Erdos will if you can. Anything you have. Oh, I don't have anything. Fuck! Oh no! It's so chaotic. Damn it. Oh, okay. I'm just kidding. it. I'm just kidding. Ah. 
Yeah, it's the combination of like all the moves at once that's like mm -hmm. really getting me. And uh, yeah, I have to get used to avoiding chains. I have to get used to recognizing black chain into anything white is going to curse death me. That's because I think I died to that combination like too many times. Uh, it's fine. We, we die a lot from it. So the first thing you need to do when you come here is again re-summon the familiars. Yes. As usual. Yeah, uh, I, I'm I'm used to that ahead. with uh, just hard bosses in general. That's cheating. That's not fair. <laughs> See. So that's uh, right. Where was it? Where was it? It was right. It was right. Yeah. Bod. No need. <laughs> Uh, not yet. Khalifa's the type to get the bod for the stats. <laughs> oh. No, uh, because I'm, I'm, I'm about to iframe. I'm just teasing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Five seconds, stay middle, left. Go left. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I, I know my phase two calls more than anything <laughs> like just uh, off of like self perspective i think in order right now for me like my in terms of confidence level is two four three and then one <laughs> which is like the worst order probably two, two is easy actually i'm glad i'm glad i i don't i don't know though i i don't have a lot of confidence in myself i feel like i'm a slow learner so i i just worry that i'm gonna hold par uh, the party back i just don't want to be like first out <laughs> Well, learn how to survive then. Cheese your iframes. I will. That's how you do it. So that was an eye-opening experience. Ah, uh, yes. I definitely have a lot to learn, especially for phase one. I'm really hoping that, like, I can bank on the fact that maybe perhaps uh, the party is going to be able to essentially one-burst phase one. We do have quite a lot of strong members, so I'm looking forward to meeting everyone. I haven't met them like in game yet we've i've only joined the discord so far so uh yeah no the that one run certainly made me learn a lot of stuff i completely forgot that uh phase one had the whole wall closing thing so uh <laughs> that's a good reminder <laughs> right there and uh certainly the freaking uh mark curse management is gonna be the thing i really have to focus on uh, especially with, uh, the White Knight, or whatever it's called. Holy shit, that's, uh, that's, that's something. Needless to say, I think I also need to, uh, get some note slots unlocked here and there. Like, oh, I really got a level. I really don't want to see myself spending nearly 600 mil just for, uh, uh, the slot that I will eventually get to. I'd rather get to 265 as soon as possible and then unlock the remaining two slots. So, uh, yeah, I think focusing on training will be one of the things that I will do after I am done the Meso Gears guide. And uh, from there, I think that will be a good game plan to go for. Uh, I guess as well, I will have to start saving up my blink nodes. But um, yeah, uh, when Awake happens, I know I will be getting uh, job advancement coins. So that's when I'm going to change into... I think the plan is wait for Awake, change to Paladin for a, a moment or at least like to train a little bit. Uh, and while I'm a Paladin, open nodes. So for the boost nodes and for the skill nodes and all that stuff, max out the skills I need for training and whatever. And in, in the meantime, like I'll pro probably have some residual uh, nodes for leveling up Blink and Will Averta. I still have like the 12 concentrated experience nodes that I could use for either my new fifth job skill or any one of those two skills. Uh, pr probably the new fifth job skill if I gotta be honest. Another one? Alright, so this is my first session in MTS3 with Frenzy and a vac pet and everything. Oh my god, it, it it's just so good. It's so good. I never accidentally walk away from my sword anymore. I can just <laughs> go around and not have to worry and oh, this is wonderful. Victor's also a friend seeing me, so uh, thanks, Victor. 
Look at that. I hate that they're so good. I hate that vac pets are so nice to have. Do I think it's necessary to have all three of them? Uh, absolutely not. But whales will whale. But honestly, I think one is more than enough to get what you need to get done. Coincidentally enough, it's also the second week of haste, so I'm gonna try and uh, use this session to unlock all the quests and everything so I can immediately start the 44,000 kills all over again. Well, no use beating around the bush. Got the title. Gonna get, get it right now. Whew. Oh, uh, I forgot to record, but um, I'm starting to stash some more arcane river droplet stones. Ah, the leader of the Black Mage party is so nice. They're telling me not to rush with my leveling and whatever and just take my time and it's fine and like I don't know if they're just trying to be polite or if they're just like um, being nice to Khalifa or... Uh, I just don't want to be the weakest link in the party. I want to be like everyone's equal. Uh, <laughs> it looks like one of my friends is looking for ICOG service. I'm not sure why. It's on a pat mark though, but I guess it does. I guess it works with transposing. We'll we'll, we'll have to see though. Uh, the pressure's on. First one. <laughs> Honestly, if I was any smarter, I would have realized that the free icogs we got would have raised the prices of inos. I that was just something that I completely forgot about because I've never done scrolling for so long now. Okay, round two. Okay. That's not a bad start. Wait, he, he actually wants to in all that? Okay, if he says so. Okay then, that was cut short. Oh yeah, I have a rainbow flame from uh, week two's reward. Let's see if we can get something good. Nah. Alright, let's see what they're looking for. Wait. Looking for anywhere from four to six. Hopefully this passes. Boo! Yeah, I certainly don't miss iCogging at all. I don't want to cause grief for other players. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's just a shield scroll. Ah! Please. Good job, everybody. Hey, it's getting a lot more easier now. Yeah, practice makes perfect. Unfortunate for Chow, though. That sucks. Uh, Got him off? Okay. We can kill. Uh... No. <laughs> Nothing. I'm coming. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> Nothing. Oh. Why does he make his dudes invincible? You think he'd do it on himself? He's not a very bright person. <laughs> he's not afraid. I can't do it. He keeps summoning fucking people and they whack me once that I can't change equips. Same. Whack, whack, whack! Oh, That's I, their only purpose. I got sniped hard. Oh. Oh, oh he's one shotting. You know what? I'm, I'm just take... gonna. Yeah. Oh, okay. It didn't, it didn't reach. <laughs> What if they started using like fifth job skills? So the pirate pulls no, out the no, 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 no. <laughs> Arrow raid. The mage could do the chain lightning pose. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Give them all full map attacks. My you can't God. get through the lightning unless you have a teleport <laughs> or an iPhone. I also like in black. Yeah, just... <laughs> <laughs> black mage is one. <laughs> and I fully experienced that. So many stuns, man. Oh. Yeah, two items. Okay. That's not so bad. Yay. I see a speed. Anything good on your end? Uh, no. Victor needs some eye cogging, and he's eye cogging his mech's <laughs> equipment. Hopefully, I can do it justice. Okay, that's uh, that's not a good start. That that also is not a good start. All right, round two. Oh my god, 
I always say the free icons you get that uh, is not from a coin shop, they're always bad. I don't know, I just always have bad luck with... Uh, oh my god, how is he passing those in oh so easily? Uh, yeah, I, usually from coin shops I get better luck. Oh my god, it's so terrible. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the heck? Oh my god. See? this? I'm telling you. Oh my god. Have you failed in uh, Inno yet? <laughs> oh my gosh. What the fuck, man? Alright, last three. Ooh, that's not a bad start. Let's go for a second one. And let's go for the last one. Jesus Christ, six or plus. Well, that's all the icons I have. Today is the last day of Fairy Bros. And I'll be getting a basic dev. No, I'm not. <laughs> I saw the freaking Reddit post. It's too funny. Oh my god. This. This is what the unit damage skin looks like. It's just a bunch of thumbs up. They said they're gonna like fix it and compensate and give us the actual thing. So I'm not worried at all. And uh, yeah. Now, wouldn't you believe it? Uh, the Black Mage Party was asking if anyone would like to run because uh, the binders off to go practice his phase one binds and all of us said yeah we're available so i'm actually gonna meet the party tonight in about 45 minutes and i'm really excited that's mine if i record this and put this on youtube i'll go for it yeah no, i don't mind i must be a bit yeah 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 all right uh, uh, oh, use your buffs now we're going in Okay, yeah, yeah, go. Go whatever. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, Dino, you don't have a key. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, quick. Oh. Our pumps are running up. <laughs> I'm a minute. Okay, a minute, a minute. You should I'm be okay. Final pack. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's just giving me time to buff. <laughs> hey, don't yeah. try, don't attack the... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Tell me time when you bind, Chris. Oh, oh, he's back. Ooh. Come back, come back. Okay, he's coming. Alright, down, 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 down. 39. 39, okay. Oh. Oh my god. Your final pack killed you. <laughs> yeah. I could kill some amount of mobs. Okay. Euros in now? Okay. I rose it at 22. Diana, can you Euros in now? Left to right. Oh my friend minute. No. Oh, so <laughs> close! Oh, oh, I lost one! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, okay. uh, right curse. Right to the left. Oh, I'm dying this. Ooh. Purple ball. Okay, ultimate should be happening soon. Oh, like I did not pay right. attention Is to that. White curse? Oh. Uh, right to uh, yeah, right to left. Oh shoot. Ah, uh, damn oh. it. I'm just I got screwed. Alright, my bad. That four. I'll be used. Mm. Oh, floor? Oh, pillars, pillars, pillars. Those things on the floor really bother me. Oh, yeah, remember to use blink for that, guys. I'm out. I mean, let's do it. Oh. I just got out, yeah. I was originally recording my VOD review, and I was doing it with Victor and Khalifa, uh, but the it went so long that I just really didn't want to bother going back to the footage and finding like bits and parts of it. So I I'll guess I'll just summarize everything. Of course, since it's only my first real run with the party and my second run ever, 
a lot of the fight was done in panic mode, so I didn't have like absolute control, I didn't have absolute knowledge, which I mean, it, it, it's, it's to be expected, right? It's just a lot of new mistakes here and there. One of the first things was um, the fear of white curse. I was really, really scared of all the white curse stuff that like I fr either froze up on uh, my iframes and I went into the wrong places afterwards or uh, I just ended up uh, walking into them because I didn't know how to do it. Such examples would be from the rolling meteors on the floor. I would make the mistake of trying to just iframe and stay in the corner instead of going into the opposite direction. The other big one was uh, not knowing how to navigate the meatball attack. I'm not, I'm not sure what people call it. I just, it's kind of funny to call them meatballs, to be honest. Black chains, I was definitely... Uh, panicking around because uh, they just came in so quickly and I just wanted to avoid them so I used like all my movement abilities to do it like dashing and flash jumping but that you can also walk away from that so I just have to learn to calm down a little bit and just know my shit which I'll I'll get w with more experience. Big unfortunate mistake though in phase two was that I completely forgot to switch back my uh, weapon jump ring that I had equipped back into uh, uh, my solid ring. So I lost out on a lot of damage there because I never casted the weapon jump ring again afterwards. Overall though, uh, it wasn't super bad, but it wasn't anything extraordinary, for sure. I think I'm gonna have to read the Black Mage Guide Pinkberry made much more carefully, and I think I also have to just watch a lot and a lot more VODs of heroes with no bods uh, doing it. Well, I guess I could also watch heroes with bods. As for my nodes, I really have to get to 265 as soon as I possibly can because, uh, well, Awake's gonna give me one slot, but then 265 will give me another slot, but then 265 will also let me unlock the final two slots immediately. So effectively, if I get to 265 uh, when Awake hits, it's not going to happen, but I could get an extra four slots, which could get me one, two, three, and then the new skill uh, put up. Or I could also have the healing uh, node or fatal attack. Probably I'd want to get the healing one. Uh, so I would have a lot more utility and benefit from leveling up to 265, so I'm really gonna try and make a push for it. Anyways, one of the nodes that I definitely need on uh, my keyboard is the emergency blink button. And there's actually one cool thing that I'd never actually thought about until Khalifa pointed it out to me, was that uh, I can actually do this. Okay, well, if I didn't actually get teleported one centimeter over, but uh, I could technically World Reaver and Blink as w an escape route. No, definitely I got upset that I was so close to Phase 3 but couldn't make it. I don't want to be too hard on myself because it's quite literally my first legit run. So it obviously new mistakes will happen. But at the same time, just because it costs so much just to walk into Black Mage. Hold on, let me try this again. Yeah, so like that and I'd be invincible for a little bit. I'm hands down the lowest leveled member of the party. There's like three 275s and like a 270, I think, and then a 268 or something along the lines of that. And then he, there I am as a 260. So I really put a lot of pressure onto myself to make sure I did super, super well. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, this definitely did not turn out the way I expected it. So I'm still happy regardless though. I'm I'm finally in a black mage party. Hopefully I can keep this going. Hopefully I can learn really, really quickly. And hopefully soon I'll uh, clear the black mage and get my genesis weapon. And uh, I'll be on my way to uh, beating 
the whole game. <laughs> you know, until J uh, Dramor comes out, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, I'm really tired out, so have a good one. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Bye-bye. <laughs>